Man, do I have a list for you. If you are struggling with sleep or if you're struggling with just lackluster energy, I'm hoping that some of what I have found may help you. Hi, my name is Amber Duggar, founder of Profit for Joy. And in today's Profit for Joy TV episode, I'm going to be talking all about things that have really been game changers for me when it comes to just feeling better in life and in business and getting better sleep. And I can assure you that I'm guessing there are many of us that would rather be getting more sleep. And so there's, these are just some things that have really helped me. Let's go. Okay, so if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. We talk all about cash flow management, money mindset, actually doing the practical things that can help you run a profitable, sustainable business that actually allows you to do the things that you care about so that you actually have more time, more freedom, and it actually is possible. So if you have not jumped over to our community over at Sweet Life Purposeful Money, we highly encourage you to do so. There's a link below to join. And let's get right into my list. Okay, so I really wish that I had a whole film crew so that I could just show you all of these things. And I think when we move, I'll be doing more of that because we're moving in a few weeks, by the way, because I wanna be able to show these things to you real time. But for now, just go ahead and sit back with your tea and just take in some really fun items that I'm gonna be talking about. So one of the very first things that I'm gonna talk about is this thing called a Thermomix. And this thing, it looks like a kitchen robot. It is crazy. I'm actually, um, I'm still blown away to this day what this thing can do. Like we just finished making our second batch of Greek yogurt uh, this week and it's made from raw milk that we get from our cow. Yes, I own a cow. <laughs> it's down in Richmond and they bring us our milk from our cow every single week. So we made this beautiful organic A2 uh, Greek yogurt using the Thermomix. The Thermomix is this thing that basically will heat things so you can cook things, you can saute things, it'll stir things for you. It's also a food processor, it's a high-speed blender, it's a steamer. It does so much stuff and I thought this can this sounds way too good to be true. There's no way this is actually a good thing. <sighs> I want you to I want to challenge you actually. Put in the comments below something you think this thing can't do and I bet you it can. It has over 600,000 recipes and not just in English. There are 19 different languages. So it like actually hooks up to a whole database full of recipes from different parts of the world. So even if you're in the United States or you're in Canada or you're in the UK and you want to figure out how to make Singapore noodles, <laughs> it's in there. If you want to figure out how to make some type of specific bouts of bun, bun, bouts bun uh, from China, you can do that. If you want to be able to make shredded uh, pollo tinga from Mexico, like shredded chicken, you can make that. It's crazy what you can make with this thing. So I really want to hear if you're into cooking just Google it and ask me what questions you have. Cause I'm telling you, I wish I could do a whole channel on the Thermomix. Okay. Next item. Next item that has significantly helped me with stress reduction, sleep, headaches, and really just overall feeling more energetic in the evenings. It's been transcendental meditation. You can go to tm.org to learn more about it, but it is a spectacular, very, very easy to do meditation. And I've been doing this for about six years now. It's changed my life for sure. Um, it's given me much more peace of mind. It's, it's been a gradual process over time, but it has absolutely helped me in so many ways. And it's definitely helped with sleep. So it's, if you don't have a meditation practice, I do highly encourage you to look into transcendental meditation. Okay. Another thing that's just like, I have to mention because, um, it, especially with the pandemic, it's made such a world of difference. I have these beats headphones. They're beats pro, I think, and they fit over the ear. And I pair that with, um, this service and it's called yoga. Hold on just one second. Let me see if I can find it. YA classes is the name of it. So it's called Yogi Approved. And what I love so much about this app is there are so many different types of yoga that actually have really good instructors that 
tell you the cues. So I barely have to look at my phone and I, and I do yoga often with this app and I found it to be extremely good. Like the, the ambiance is so beautiful. We have a Peloton and I was trying to do the yoga from the Peloton and I'm sorry, but it just doesn't make me feel calm when I see black walls and bright neon purple lights everywhere. I mean, just take a look at this. Like it's just so pretty. <laughs> so Yogi approved, highly recommend this, this app. Another thing that I really love that's totally like, this is all over the place, but I just made a random list of things that I really, really love. It's this remarkable. Now this thing allows me to write endless pages using e-ink and this pencil that attaches to it. I had the first one. The first one was okay, but it didn't really write like a, like a pencil or a pen. And so I never really got into it. I actually have it down here. Um, it's a little bit bigger, but it's, it just doesn't, it just didn't work as well. So like they're very similar in size, but the remarkable two, I have seriously given up notebooks, which is unheard of because I'm fountain pen queen, but I love this thing so much. It's helped so much with client notes, with brainstorming sessions, with journaling. Um, there's so many great things about it. I could do a whole video on remarkable. Highly recommend looking into this. It's made a huge difference for me, especially with travel. Now, another thing that I really love are headphones, like these headphones, they are so good. So they're the new, um, the new Apple iPods Max, I think. What I love about these headphones is they have a transparency mode that truly makes me feel like I don't have them on. So I use them a lot with client calls makes a world of difference with the client calls because I can actually hear um, hear the client really well. They can hear me really well because the microphone is in. So that's one use. But what I really love about them is being able to listen to sound healing with the noise cancellation on doing my morning consecration practice. We've already had a whole video. We'll link it below to the morning consecration practice with the specific YouTube sound healer. She is in Incredible. And I feel transformed to another place when I listen to her voice and these headphones and then do my morning consecration practice on the remarkable. <laughs> so these are all the things that I kind of have used on a morning on a daily basis. Now this list would not be complete without really good coffee. So um, I buy my coffee from a place called Misha's uh, Coffee House in Alexandria, Virginia. It's Old Town Alexandria. I'm so grateful they ship because pretty soon I'm not gonna be able to drive down there and get it. And it's so good. The Route 66 is amazing French press coffee and it does not give me anxiety or any sort of um, like bad feelings where some other coffee has before. So while I haven't had it tested for mold, I have had moldy coffee before and I don't believe this is one of them. I would like to get it tested because then I could fully recommend it without any reservations. Um, if you're looking for a good mold-free coffee, I've heard Purity Coffee coffee is really good. Um, Organo Coffee uh, is also really good. It has Rishi spores, I use that for travel. And then of course you can get Bulletproof Coffee. They, they always make sure to not have the mycotoxins and the mold. I have to say nothing beats Misha's coffee. Route 66, French press, heavy cream, delicious. Okay, so I've mentioned the morning consecration practice in another video, but I do have it on my list because it really has transformed my life. Um, so if you haven't yet watched that, make sure to watch that video. So this one you're gonna laugh at. Another thing is Animal Crossing. <laughs> I have started playing Animal Crossing and the reason I started playing this was I personally had some trouble getting into play mode and like having some downtime. So my brother suggested that I do this and it is the most peaceful game. It just allows me to have fun and be in this beautiful environment and just be nice to people. <laughs> so if you're looking for something fun to check out, Animal Crossing New Horizon is a really good game. Let me know in the comments if, if you're a fellow player because I'd love to see your island. Okay, so back to some sleeping things that have made a huge, huge difference. This sleep mat. It's an acupressure mat. Bulletproof doesn't actually make these anymore, but you can buy these on Amazon. So we'll link something below. 
it has all of these little pressure points on them. So you can kind of see like they're really spiky. And yes, I do lay down on this um, without a shirt on and it is intense. And it's also the most relaxing thing ever. Cause then I just like, I can feel it now just imagining it. I lay down and I kind of like work it into my back a little bit. And what it does is it brings a whole bunch of blood flow to your back and it does put you in a state of relaxation. So it helps me very much with sleep. Like even just thinking about it is making me a little tired. <laughs> um, another thing that I do is after eight o'clock, I put these glasses on. This is RA Optics. Um, my husband has them too, which is why we have them labeled. This is the night version. So um, it's like, you know, the fancy rocker glasses. These make such a difference. So when I'm traveling and I use the time shifter app, I use these glasses as well in the airport so that I'm not getting fluorescent lights. Um, and even just using when the day is a little weird because like I'm seeing the, the sky is like almost purple. It's odd. Um, during the day, I also have daytime ones. These ones are a different style. I actually like the style, the night ones better, um, but these are clear ones for, for daytime. This has made a big difference, especially when I was working on getting back into balance with sleep. I struggled with sleep for a very long time. Um, one thing that I definitely don't do now is any caffeine in the, in the afternoon hours. Um, I don't drink anything past 8.30 at the very latest. It's been a huge improvement on sleep. And what I do is I take two heaping teaspoons of magnesium calm unsweetened at uh, no later than 8.30 at night. And then I go to bed by 9.30 and I, I don't have any problems with getting up in the middle of the night because I have not had any liquid after 8.30. So that's a huge, huge win. Another big thing that has made a massive change in our sleep has been not eating late. So we actually finish eating around four now, but even before, if we were not eating past six, it made a world of difference. And we found this out from this thing here. It's called an aura ring. Not this, but this one. And this has like little sensors in it. And it tracks my heart rate, my HRV, my heart rate variability, and several other things. Best thing I've ever done in terms of figuring out what has and what does not work for sleep. So that's why I actually very rarely drink alcohol now because it makes such a difference in my sleep, which is sad because I love wine, but I love my sleep more. Um, and so it's, it's just been so helpful, so helpful to have this aura ring. Um, I would say that that is a good stopping point because I could literally talk to you all day about stuff that has really made a difference in our lives. We have sauna, that's a pop-up sauna. We have a fish roaster. We have like all these crazy random things. But what I'd love to know is like, what do you want to know about? Is there anything that you have been looking into or that you were thinking like, hmm, maybe this should go on my profit for joy list. This is why we do this, right? To be able to enjoy cool things that are available to us to make our lives simpler. And sometimes it can be a real, really simple thing. It doesn't have to be a fancy tool. Um, so I'd love to know in the comments below, if you like this video, please be sure to share, like, and subscribe. It really does help us get this in front of more people. And as being part of our community, we just want to thank you for being part of this movement. You are breaking that taboo of not being able to talk about money. And for that, I could not be more grateful to you. So thank you again. You guys are amazing. Until the next video, much love to you. See you soon. Bye.